Leslie here from Message in a Fold, and today is a subscriber question day. One of my YouTube subscribers and Facebook followers, Cindy Farmer, hello Cindy, she said she is going on a craft buying freeze. She's not buying any more things, and she is trying to figure out ways to make Christmas presents for her family um, without going to the craft store. And she was wondering what she can make for her family members. Oh, mercy. Where do I start? <laughs> um, oh, this is such a rich, rich in place. Oh, it's, it's a place that's so full of ideas. Um, recycling things. Oh, mercy, mercy. And one thing, you know, well, after all of you new paper crafters that are coming in and starting this and trying to figure out what it is that you like to do, there will come a time within your household that the only things safe from being altered are your spouse and your children and the cat and the dog and the parrot or canary or whatever like that everything else is fair game <laughs> store and I found a clock for a dollar or maybe I found it at a yard sale I don't remember but I altered this clock for my son yeah and it's still here it hasn't gone out either I'm a terrible mom but I altered this clock it was just a plain just a plain old clock so go to your thrift store and get the clock, find a clock or something, and hopefully the mechanism works and all you have to do is add a battery in there. Uh, but clean it up. You can add your scrapbooking paper inside. And if you have stickers that have the numbers, if you have number stickers, you can put them on in the place of what I've done here. My my son is a math whiz like his dad, so hopefully he'll appreciate this. Um, but yeah, 50 cents, a dollar, 25 cents, whatever for a clock. Clean it up, put your paper, change it, whatever. That's it. bulletin boards I've done for some of my family members and I even did one for one of my really good friends I met her uh, when I first started my YouTube channel 
my old one. Um, I met her through through my videos and things, and oh mercy, we have been friends for seven or eight years, and she has over the years sent me Christmas presents that are really kind of expensive and I appreciated what she has done for me and so I purchased a oh my goodness she <laughs> she probably she probably was about to kill me but I sent I made this bulletin board out of a giant frame and and then I I sent it to her for Christmas a few years ago. Tin cans. These are, this is food cans. And I've covered them in paper. I've got lace and bling and stuff around them. Some of them I've painted on the inside, but others I haven't. You can put paper inside. And, uh, you know, this could, you could put it with kitchen paper and and things and and somebody who does a lot of cooking they can put their uh, spatulas and spoons and whatever in here and and have it on their on their kitchen counter for when they're cooking I've used a not this one but I've used a giant size can and I have pictures of it somewhere I'll have to find them but I've covered it in paper and I painted the inside of it and sent it to uh, my daughter with the twins and she puts her hair dryer and curling irons inside there in, in her bathroom. It's a decorative thing. I have altered file folders. Just the regular, um, I'll have to put a picture up, um, the one-third cut file folders. But somebody that, that needs some file folders, I made a batch of them. Oh my goodness, my granddaughters are a year old now, so this is pretty close to two years ago. Um, I put baby paper on the front of the file folders, and I'll put a photo of it, um, so that my daughter would have a, for their birth, uh, all their doctor records, all of their shots, um, anything, insurance, whatever, so all of her baby stuff would be in one little area. I made the box and uh, that thing, well, yeah, uh, let's, let's just say it was a fail. I have glass jars.
after you do the alcohol ink, you do need to spray it with some kind of a sealer. And what I use is this Krylon Triple Thick Clear Glaze. Just give it a good spray all the way around and let it set and dry and do this outside in a garage or whatever. It'll stink up your house if you do it in the house. But it does uh, turn some fans on or something and get the smell out. Um, but this is one idea. And then you can, you can decorate it up with paper and lace and ribbon and you can paint the lid and add all kinds of pretty things to it if you want to. This was for one of my granddaughters and it hasn't gone out yet. So, see, I'm a bad grandma. I'm a bad mom. I'm just bad. I got totally possessed. Oh, mercy. I got really possessed. But these, um, these rosettes that I was making, you can, you have uh, photos, school photos of your children. Make the rosette and put your child's school photo on there and put a, a ribbon or, or a, some gold thread, whatever. Christmas ornaments that you can give to grandparents and aunts and uncles. Uh, there's, they would love to have these for their trees. Or um, you can put a, a magnet on the back and they can put it on their refrigerator. And they can have their gorgeous grandchild, nephew, niece, whatever, there to see all the time. Um, now, one thing you kind of need to I want to share with you that the gift that you create from your heart and you give it to someone else, when you give it and it's theirs, they do with it whatever they want. Um, I <laughs> There are a lot of my family members that, that have given away the thing that I had made. Somebody else said, oh my goodness, I love that. And they said, oh, you do? Here, take it. <laughs> you know, that's okay. It's theirs, and it's theirs to give. Uh, there are some of my things that that if there's a mention of, hey, um, what do you, do you still have that that Leslie made? Uh, no, I don't remember where it went. So there are some things that, yes, will make you feel bad, um, but let it go. It, you gave it to them, it was their gift, and it was for them to do whatever they wanted to with it. Now, you know, just think about the things that you have received from other people, and they've bought the, they bought the sweater or, or the socks or something, and, and you get it and say, oh, thank you, thank you. And then as soon as they leave, then you go, hey, it's the same thing. So just, just know that this is like a learning experience and what you can do. Um, how far can you go? How can you take trash and make it a treasure and, and do it with what you have? So what I would like is those of you out there that that make your own Christmas gifts for your family out of your craft supplies. What do you do? What things do you make? Uh, if you have a video of something that you've done, link it to the comment below. Um, yeah, so we can all go and, and see what you've done and we can get ideas on what we can do for our family. Um, if you have suggestions of things that you have done, 
put them in the comment section below. The, uh, yeah, this could be, this could turn out to be a wealth of information. Okay, this is Leslie from Message in a Fold saying, you go show someone how special they are. Bye.